we're getting kind of a winter blast. Look out, Phil. Cube day. Oh, easy, mama. Easy. You're gonna be all right. I know, you're excited. Put those gnarly horns away you got. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Joe, let's get some cubes. Yeah, bring the sack in the truck. It's always fun. You know, 50 pounds. We're, hey, we're driving. Give me just a second, okay? Good Lord. Get you some cubes there, buddy. This is how we feed cubes. I don't have a cake feeder. And everybody laps everybody. Big Joe. Are you being feisty too, boy? Last bag to another feisty group. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Turners Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Got these guys, some cubes today. Got the Big Joe Herd cubes today. Everybody's feisty. I think they know that the, the weather's coming, so who knows? But uh, uh, speaking of that, we do have some another cold, cold blast coming. And so I'm gonna go over here and uh, actually push some timber. I'm gonna use our precision manufacturing tree puller. Richard is out here working right now with the bulldozer. I've got the skid steer. I'm gonna uh, do some uh, brush removal, pull up some cedar trees, gonna have some fun on the skid steer today. And then also I'm gonna start prepping for this winter blast and uh, like minus 20 wind chill um, down to one degrees. And I know some of you are going, well Dusty, we've been dealing with a blizzard and three and four foot snow in the north. And yes, I know that's cold and that's why I don't live there. So. Uh, but down here, that means I got to prep for everything because Christmas is around the corner and we're going to get busy with stuff. So I've got to prep all of our pipes, water, everything, and get ready for this winter blast. Hope you guys are ready for another bison video. Bobby, what you doing? I see you, Bobby. I'm excited about this fence line. This is one of the major last fence lines we have to push and put up a new fence. Uh, I showed you this the other day. Uh, Richard's got his uh, big dozer up here. And uh, so his dozer can't get some of these small trees in this fence line. So I'm going to take the precision tree puller right here. The sucker is heavy duty awesome. And I'm going to start ripping up some of these cedar. I love ripping up cedar. Um, out of this fence line and uh, make some more room for him so he can get in here and push some of these big trees. So I'll show you guys that here in a second. Let's hop in. Because the 
dozer has a hard time knocking out some of these smaller trees such as the cedar elm and hackberry trees i was able to use this precision tree puller kind of pluck some of these smaller trees out before richard came through with the dozer and uh, knocked this fence line out and a lot of this built up brush in this fence line area and some of the bigger trees so i took this heavy duty um, tree puller and man it will really surprise you every time i use this thing i i push it to its limits and i'm really surprised at what it can really pull out this thing can grab several uh, smaller trees at one time and kind of gather them up squeeze it together and move them at once um, i've pulled out anything from six or seven inches diameter something you got to work them a little bit kind of back and forth and then it, you can once you break that root system uh, it's all good to go you can tell the cedar trees root system is way more complex um, than the hackberry and the elm and the oak the cedar tree anytime that it doesn't matter how big the tree is there's always massive amounts of dirt and most of it's probably with clay attached to this root system of these cedar trees and that's when you see me have to shake the actual dirt out as much as i can in the spot i pulled it out with before i actually remove the tree and put it on the burn pile this tree puller it's heavy duty and it works great for easy work like this and the other thing you can do with it once you close it together you can use the front end of it and you can actually you can get under and rip that root system out like i did here and you can push the trees out sometimes if they're a little big to pull straight up out of the ground you can work them back and forth and get really under that tree work that root system and push it up and out of the ground and it works great for these type of smaller trees like this especially in a fence line if you're working around barbed wire you can get up under there and pluck those trees out one by one Jackie, huh? What are you doing? Hey, girl. Come 
here. Right here. Charlie, what are you doing? All right, so I'm doing a little winter weather prepping on all of our water stuff because uh, we're getting kind of a winter blast. Um, no precipitation uh, reported that is coming yet. Um, just some major, major cold here for uh, Southern Oklahoma. Weather that we typically don't experience, um, rot it um, below zero. Because our pipes are only 18 inches and stuff like that, you can have some issues. So. We uh, try to make sure everything is protected and covered uh, before a storm hits. Just simple stuff like this out here, exposed the elements out here in the middle. I may put a barrel around this, but I'm gonna definitely put this uh, foam insulation around it for now and make sure it's good. And then I also got to come out here and prepare um, my automatic water where the calves are. It's actually pretty nice because there's a, an electrical unit in there um, where I'm able to plug in a heat strip and the water tank heater. I'm going to do that um, next. And then, um, then I'm going to go to town. I'm going to go to the mill and pick up some protein tubs uh, just to give these bison a little bit of extra boost. I'm going to get one for my yearlings gonna get one for the Big Joe herd and then I'm gonna get one for the Dunbar herd so that they can have a little extra protein during this blast. And it's something I always do anyways in the winter regardless of the weather or, or not. I haven't got them protein tubs yet this year so and then we're gonna get it out to them. All right, so what I got here is a heat strip and this was this was, uh, I installed this last year when we had some winter blast. Uh, here's the main line coming in right here. I've got it insulated already. See, I've pretty much already done my work since last year, but here's the heat strip and the heat strip goes up around this main line up inside the actual water pump. So um, basically I'm just gonna plug it in. It'll be good to go from there. And then also I have a uh, heating element that actually sits in the water or I can run it down through a pipe and plug it in too. So perfect ground outlet here for the heating strip and the actual element that sits in the water to keep the water warm and from freezing. All right, so here's, here's the actual heating element that came with this part of the farm water that I got, oh, last year, I guess, I installed all this before winter, I did it in the summer, but these little pegs right here, these will sit on the bottom of the water down in that side right there, and then actual line back through and plug it in. Push this in there. Oh, that water's cold. All right, I end up, I just decided to go ahead and clean it out. It needed it, I've cleaned it out a couple of times this summer already, but um, it's good to go. Got the heating element in it, got it plugged in, cover back on. All right, we'll make sure it works tomorrow. I got the chickens box in here. Oh yeah, right there. Got them some fresh hay. I finished my uh, chicken pen mostly. So here it is for now. Under the low fear of the barn. Got a couple more things to do, but got it mostly finished. Probably gonna put a heat lamp in here for them. 
just so that they uh, are good to go. I think I hear somebody. Hey, Charlie. What do you think, Charlie? Got the dogs some bedding here in the barn. They're good to go. Charlie, Charlie's gonna probably use it. Charlie. All right, we just got back from the mill. I say we, I don't know why I say we. Usually it's just me and Maya. So anyways, uh, we got our three uh, protein tubs and uh, we're gonna go out here, give them to the yearlings, give one to the Big Joe herd, and then we're gonna run over to uh, Mom and Kevin's the Dunbar herd and give them one. Got her 54 is thinking about it. Let's see her pacing that fence. And she did it. She's getting. Well, I'll just open the gate and she came back through. 54, your problem. You know what? Oh, look at that. That's perfect. Quick. This cow, you are the troublemaker. If you're teaching the others what to do and they start, we got problems, mama. Let's go over here and get y'all a tub. I'm putting this tub up here on the hill. I've learned that when you put these tubs out, make sure you put them far from water because they eventually turn the actual tub into the toy is what they do. They'll turn a tub like this, sweet blocks here, into a toy. And then that's where we have our problems. Ends up in the water. Here, taste that. Very good. Is that good? Is that good, Big Joe? Hey, buddy. No cubes today. Tomorrow, maybe. Hey, big fella. Hey, crew. Peaches. No more. Hey, buddy. Get back. Family. Pull through here. I got something for you. Got you a treat, buddy.
Come on. Come on. Look out, Bill. Nice dish. Pictures. You quit running through the gates. You guys, calves are looking good, getting big. You guys go see your tub. All right, guys, we got the last group, a tub. Got old Mr. Dunbar here. I like putting these tubs out just simply because what I like about it is they can all just come get it whenever they want. Um, and they one one bison won't just stay on this tub. They'll, they'll, they'll come and, and lick it and then move on. So that's one thing I like about it. It's a 20% protein tub, and it's just a little, gives them a little oomph. Uh, you know, this time of the year when they're getting hay, they're getting their cubes. All it is is just a supplement for them. Um, and we're about to get this blast of this cold um, air. It's supposed to be bad wind chill and things like that. So um, we'll take it and grind through it. These animals won't have a problem with it. Uh, I'm a big softy when it comes to being cold. So uh, all herds are doing great. So thank you guys for following us along. Thank you guys for watching us. We'll see you soon. Keep ranching.